Welcome to the herd, everybody. This is the first episode of the Vice Bites YouTube gaming channel. Today, we are going to be starting out with a little look into Slasher's Keep, a new indie game that has just been released, uh, I don't know, probably about a week or two ago on Steam. Um, I'm Bison, the host of the Bison Bites channel. Um, I'm going to be doing a variety of independent strategy games, action games, a little, little bit of a variety gamer. Um, yeah, so without any further ado, let's get on to the adventure. All right, so let's go into options here really quick. Uh, you always got to adjust those volumes. Wow. Volume's already kind of probably at a good spot. Interesting, so we'll apply that. Uh, let's see, anything else? Nope. So let's just jump right in. All right, so let's go ahead, let's make an adventure here. This is more of a dungeon crawler, so you're kind of taking a little bit room by room. Um, from what I have seen, you're hacking and slashing your way through a bunch of enemies. Um, so I'm pretty excited. So let's come right up here. Uh, name, Bites. Uh, let's see. Origin. Do we want to be Amazon? What do we want? We've got Northerner. Amazon. Block, block, block. Uh, let's try the Amazon. Let's see. Appearance. Southern Isles. Girl. Just girl. All right. Um, Red Witch. Maiden. Lowborn. Yes, we will go with the Red Witch. Why not? Color, that's kind of a weird thing. Mm, purples, pinks, blues, yes. What would a Red Witch look like? Probably be red. That would make sense. There we go. Um, We'll explore permadeath in easy mode in different episodes. Thank you all very much, by the way, for joining me on this adventure. And yeah, let's begin. The fate of a people against the love of one. A bargain well struck, you told yourself. Yet, in all of this time spent without withering in your cell, doubt has never left you. Can betrayal ever be righteous? If you could tell the nights from the days, you would spend them plotting revenge. Or so you used to tell yourself. The years went on and took your anger with them. But your yearning for freedom never left you. And so you lay in wait opportunity to escape presented itself. Hint, crafted items have no attribute requirements. That's nice. We'll continue saving for one. All right. WASD, mouse to sprint. Okay. Hold to sprint. Hit to jump. Interesting. We are going to take the music volume down. Hit. All right. Alright, there's a hole, there's some keys. What do we get here? Mouse is pretty. I don't know, I'd say mushy at best here. Okay, can I pick up a brute? How do I. No? No? Okay. Alright, hit E to interact with objects and pick up items. Alright. Pick up sword and a thing. I'm gonna guess. Oh, I would have guessed wrong. I was gonna say I. Inventory sack. All right, we've got a scantily clad red witch here. Uh, babies, babies, first shoulders. All right, where do these bad boys go? Okay, we've got some shoulders. I'm gonna guess the uh, chunk of rock with a bone taped to it, the unbecoming katana longsword. Okay, all right. Anything else? Back in a bit. Grab some keys. Nope. Okay. And jumping all over the place here. Sorry about that. The controls are a little mushy. Um, so sorry for that. How do I get through here? How do I attack? Let's 
It's not just left click. Let's take a look. Nope, don't want to click to there. We don't have key bindings, so. We'll just run through there. Nope, didn't quite happen. All right, getting a little confused. Don't, don't quite know where to go, what to do here. Okay, well I hit X and something happened. Hit left to attack or hold to charge for a more powerful swing. The latter can also be modified A, S, or D as you click. 11 to disable. All right, press and hold to start parrying. Aim your weapon in the way of the incoming of incoming blows. If you don't aim precisely, you may still take some damage. Some attacks cannot be parried. Watch out for haymakers. All right. Oh, okay, even more. Ooh, clickety-clack, swing my sack. Press F. F in the chat for sack to smack enemies with your inventory sack. All right. All right, let's do this. Well, not really seeing how to uh, how to parry stuff here, but that's okay. Oh, okay. <coughs> mm, sorry, I had to clear my throat. All right, well, that was a horrifying mole man, but we did it. We killed him. Are we out of this dungeon yet? Uh, what? What? That dude is shooting stars at me? I, I think there's a song about that. Um, yep, yep. These are things. Get stabbed in the face. Uh, we got... The door has been locked and this man is now floating in the air. So let's do what any self-respecting person would do and stab him in the face. Oh, right click is parry. That makes more sense. I am getting torn up here. All right. Face, face, face. All right, I know Starman's still up there. Double face. Oh, no, oh, the thing dropped. Thing dropped. What do we got? It's got to be better. Requirements not met. Of course not. Kill him before he kills you. Oh, my God. So far, so good. Room two cleared. Pick up some things. I got a pointy thing. Do boxes die? Does not look like it. All right, well, so far, this is a cool experience. Got, I like the textures, I like the rooms. A little, little hard on the combat. All right, so what do we get? We got a fine back sword, requires melee and dexterity four. I don't think we're long for this world. I'm assuming this is my health. Yeah. And then we got a standard issue shooter. It's a wand, two out of 12 charges. That does not seem good. To draw your wand, press C or the number key you have bound to it. Let's go ahead and put that down on number two then, and we'll put that down on number one for the smacker. Fairly useful. Is that better than babies first? No. Oh yeah, I can clickety-clack people with my sack. I got a sack meter up there. All right. Okay. And let's continue on. Place an item on the altar and await judgment. Sure, why not? I am rewarded for my sacrifice. All right, so we've got chromatic crystal. Increases wand charge by a small amount. That seems mildly useful. 
no wand equipped. All right, well, we can take care of that. Wand equipped. Um, all right. Oh, we're up to four shots now. Aim down the sights the my pointy arrow shaft wand. Let's see what we got here. We got a barrel. We got a barrel. I, I, the barrel is on fire. Oh god. It has exploded. Alright, well, that was fun. Let's go ahead and can we shoot somebody through the door? What about this guy? That does not appear so. Those doors, oh, they don't make them like they used to. Oh my god, he like popped right out of there. Pop him in the head. Pop him in the head. Pop him. Okay. The indignity. From one second to the next, your arms seem too heavy to lift. Your vision grows dim as you drag your feet across the floor in a vain attempt to carry on fighting. With your last breath, you embrace the tranquility and fade into the light. As you reach out to touch it, it speeds away. You feel as though you were falling through an endless void, tumbling ever faster, until you are jolted back to life by forces unknown. You awaken your cell, your equipment looted and your head buzzing with ache. Your body feels weaker and memories of your attempted escape have vanished. Continue. All right, wands break when depleted. Well, I'm gonna have to live long enough to make it through that. And here we are again. Lost one of your money? No! <laughs> Alright, well, that was terrible. Um, so, this is a roguelite game, so we will have a new spawn, I'm guessing, each time. What's in here? Nope, oh, already seems better. What do we got here? Alright, burnt out garment. And we got a depleted Kurtana, not Cortana. But Kurtana, and what do we got here? Magic hat, unmagic hat, sorry, unmagic hat. So we got a rag, we got a garment, which is like, I don't know, the stuff your catcher would wear in Little League Baseball, I feel like. How do you get through this? Let me, let me through, let me through. Oh. Have to draw your weapon with X, apparently. That's kind of a weird feature. All right. Well, we had a sword last time. Mm, this seems significantly worse. Oh. Get clicked with my sack. Slash my way through. Hit him with my sack. Okay, this guy's gotta die. This guy's gotta die. Kick you off the sack. Yes, it worked! Okay. Let's not die here. Hack him in the face. And that's how you hack him in the face. Can't get too greedy here. It was, yeah. Hey, I chopped his head off. That makes me feel good. I saw something in vulnerability there. That's probably better than not. Didn't this guy drop some things? Did I automatically pick those up? Who knows? All right. So we got one big room cleared. We're doing no better than we were last time. Maybe we'll get better at this. Maybe we won't. All right, what do we pick up? Potion of invulnerability, six seconds. Yeah, we're using that next room. All right, standard issue shooter and shot of health. Well, shot of health up. We're gonna need that. What's this guy do? Brains, who knows? Oh yeah, we have a shooter, so we'll put that there and then we'll put that there and number three. All right, well, this is going well so far. I appreciate y'all for joining me here. Can I kick that with my sack? 
us this. No. 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 Hey! Alright. I, I think I ate a turnip. Oh, yep. Looks like the turnip is a good turnip. No wand equipped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's wand at maximum capacity. Nice. Wand seemed kind of overpowered so far. All right, we're either gonna hit the blue thing or we're gonna hit the zombie. Hit him right in the spine. Oh god. Oh god. There's a lot of a lot of things going on here. Okay, the, the bouncing water blob has been destroyed. Alright, well, I faced him. That's the thing. I faced him. Alright, what do we got here? Weird male, five strength. God, when do I get more strength? <laughs> uh, probably gonna make it past two rooms. Alright. Do we have a map? We do have a mini map. Okay. So let's come down here, let's take a look, see what we can do. Alright, coming up here. Uh, I don't have a good feeling about this. Oh, alright. That's good. Just a spiky board. That's that's what I like to have randomly throughout my dungeons. Alright, what else we got here? We got lights. Alright, alright. Let's Let's do this. Let's rumble. Oh, you want to mess with that? You want to mess with that? Get faced here. He looks so happy. You're doing, you're doing good work, zombie. Oh, I think that's how you're supposed to do it. Get, get, get wrecked. I think that's, that's what they say. All right. Ain't no dome like a dome to the back of the head. Face. It's like what you tell a dog that jumps too much. Face. Where did he come from? Oh god. Uh, vulnerability. Let's go. You gained a new level. Open your character sheet to assign your attributes. Storm Tamer. I am the Storm Tamer. Bring me another. Um, character sheet. All right. What do we got? We got four points to spend. We could put this thing on five strength, which gets us two more strength. We draw on map. Consumable. Hmm. I think we already have all that, so let's just jump all the way up to there. And all of a sudden, we're kind of a beast. Or at least we got a cool shirt, but you know, how cool can it be if you don't have on any pants? Next step, find some pants. This guy's wearing pants. Why can't I just take his pants? You have, I have the high ground, Anakin, it is over! I have seeded the high ground, but I have also chopped his head off, so... It's a wash. Thank, thank you, Chest. Th th thank you for... Thank you, just... Okay, spiky sword, that seems wholly impractical, but... You know. Alright, I got money, plus one. Get out of here, Chest. God. Do we have any? Yes, I was gonna say explode boxes, potions, vulnerability. I think I just ate a salami. Yep, healing me. That's good. I don't know what that purple thing is, but we're gonna just move on because ain't nobody got time for that. All right, what do we pick up here? We've got the scary Dao Dio. I think it's Dio of the floating fortress. That is a lot. Slower speed, 10 to 14 damage, 5 to 6. 
Speed fast, very fast. Range speed, who cares? But yeah, that's got to be better. And I mean, come on, it's spiky and looks cool. And then inert bolo short sword. Is that like the kind you wear on your neck like a bolo tie? <laughs> oh God, that's a terrible joke. All right, purity ring. Apparently the purity ring made out of twine will get me a little bit of hit points. Can't quite read that. I think that's 1.5, yes. Oh, we've got some treader boots. They are bland. Oh, look at that. I'm like ready to star in Peter Pan as uh, Rufio or something. All right, let's continue on. Rufio! Oh God, I'm taking fire. All right. Dude's got some reach for a zombie. Patty cake. Patty cake. Baker man. Bake me a cake as fast as you. I, I timed it wrong. I thought I was gonna have. I thought he was gonna be dead. Fast as you can. That guy died a brutal death. He messed me up a lot. I wonder if you can kick them into the spikes. What we got here? Got a, a grub. Oh, 0.6. Oh, grubs seem good. Ooh, another grub. Oh no. Oh. They didn't like that. I did eat the grub. You could eat the grub. That's amazing. Why can't you mess with these plastic, these purple bottles? Come on. Don't you tempt me with those purple bottles. Oh, got me an apple. Apples are good. All right. So, you know, as in any good video game, when you uh, get completely messed up by zombies and orcs and whatnot, you can always eat an apple to feel better. That is bad, but you are good. You are good. No grub is safe from my grub eater that's that's what i should call him grub bling grub eater all right haven't been through this door nope already don't like that can you prep a shot uh, yeah yeah you can oh god somebody's shooting a ball at me ball of red ball of red is never good can you really sneak attack when they're attacking you i mean come on now all right, we got we got some some items. Ain't, oh god, I don't like I don't like that at all. All right, what do we got here? We got a mallet that is much more so than that. I don't know. It says dexterity and stuff. I don't know. Peasant's pata sword. What is this? A piece of wood? Come on, peasants. Withered hands and gloves. Do we have gloves on yet? Nope. Oh, we got the wrist wraps. We are unstoppable now. And we got some shoulders. You know, when you get to like everything, every slot filled up, then then you know the run is going well. All right. 2 to 12, 5 to 8, 7 to 12, 6 to 8. Definitively worse than the one I have. 5 intelligence for a strength bonus? Come on. It's throwing good money after bad. All right. I feel like this sword is better. Get... Hacked Bumblebee. Get sacked. One shotted. That's how I want to see it. Oh god, he has come. Oh god. Nightman cometh. Damon. Fighter of the Nightman. I don't know how he hit him. What? I would... I, I appreciate that my inventory is full, but I would like that one back. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Oof! I popped his ass, though. <laughs> I shouldn't say those words. Oh, can I can I sack this off? Get out. Get out. 
All right, I've got some inventory problems here. Barely useful shoulders, better than those. Also, they've got some nice, nice lace work here. I don't know why those are not burnt out shoulders. Okay. Babies first, get out of here. We don't need you. Burnt out shoulders, barely useful. Why can I not wear these? Oh, leg armor. I got pants. I got pants. All right, wafer's ring, still can't wear it. And her bolo. These are both kind of not great. You, maybe put you up here. Who doesn't want to whack things with a mallet? Ooh, dexterity one. I am fully kitted out. Best run ever. Oh, better shoes. They are toxic, but you know, who isn't a little bit toxic? Get back. Now uh, we'll, we'll try out the big guy. He seems to have some heft to him. He's also a little, a little warped here, but you know, always been kind of a two-handed, slow but devastating attack kind of guy. I think we need to quaff a potion. Worn battle mace. That seems to be ever so slightly better, which is my jam. Let's try that out. And to min-max it, we'll go for that. All right, what was in this room? How did he come in? Can they open doors? Ha! Ha! Zelda has taught me you can always smash the pots. Did I get a thing? I did get a thing. Oh, I got more, more potions to quaff. Oh, you don't want none of this croquet mallet. Hold you. Look at that, 37. Ha! Face! Who's next? Who's next? Face! Face is, face is the place to be. Just like Ace. Get that hardware needs. Got, got a grub. Oh god, things are messed, freaking out. Get that salami. Get that health. Get that protein. Swing at this croquet mount. Builds up the muscles. Is this all just a roundabout way? Yep. All right. Where do we? Where do we need to go here? Map's a little hard to read. Okay. Yep. The enemies are beyond this door. So, who wants a face? Excellent job. Excellent job. Oh god. I am enjoying the one-shot croquet now. Can you run and heavy attack? Um, I think that is just where it's at right there. Run-ups and one-shot them in the face. All right, you gained a skill point. Assign it in your skill book to add a permanent level to a skill you have. Characters will never lose those skill levels. Escape to close. Okay, we have a book down there. I don't know how to open said book, but I would like to. Okay. What do I got here? Exotic martial artist or martial arts. Hailing from faraway lands with strange rites and traditions, you have been trained to fight from when you were a mere child. You have mastered ancient combat techniques that have ensured the safety of your people for centuries. Melee attacks be increased by 5%. That is amazing. Storm Tamer. Although you haven't seen a thunderstorm in ages, you still feel lightning rushing through your veins, growing in experience. You're now finding ways to let it out. Grants a 9.5% chance for the lightning strike to jump to the closest enemy, dealing 11.4 of the initial damage. Is that like on hit? Have this? Okay, well, sure. I learned that. Why not? Done. Uh, we have been visited by the Bison Bites official mascot, Bourbon the Cat. She is currently sitting on 
my hand, so we will take that little handicap. <laughs> handicap, get it? Um, points to spend? Oh, we do have points to spend. Okay, so five dexterity. Yep, we can spend a dexterity there. Um, that gets us onto there. Intelligence. What does intelligence do? Increases crit damage, range damage, influence, item pricing also increases that. We could do a couple on there. Three, but I do so enjoy killing things. So let's let's just make it a little let's do the thing you never do and just kind of be a dilettante and hit everything up just a little bit. Range speed doesn't seem particularly great, especially over one dexterity. Loving the big croquet mallet. We can wear these boots now. Look at that. Look at that. You can't even tell I'm the Red Witch anymore. All right. Excellent. Drink some wine. Sure, we'll eat a cockroach. Why not? I'd eat a cockroach. Would you eat a cockroach? Eat some apples. What do we got? Dead zombies everywhere. All right. Explore this whole room. Okay. Combat. There we go. Based. I am the melee master have my thwacking stick. Oh, we got, we got something. Hear the sound of machinery. Sure, that's a thing. The thing happened. It kicked. I don't like boxes. Oh, you know you want it. You know you want it. Face. Oh, he uppercutted him. That's great. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's awesome. I love that. That is awesome. All right. <laughs> oh, that is satisfying. That is satisfying. All right. I pressed a button. Who knows what that does? All right. Let's go back through here. Let's see where we got to go. This seems like a place where we haven't been yet. There is a green-skinned individual in a cage. Four! I'll take that one hit. Hit the- commence the panic hitting. Oh, you're gonna get it. Who's next? Who is next? Oh. Oh, do you not get through the web? Ha! <laughs> that is how we do it. Yeah, that's that's done a thing. I don't quite know if I want to like run around, sprint the whole time in this game or not. Like, what's this poor individual's fate here? <laughs> I feel bad. All right. Um, he's probably long dead anyways. All right. So unclear. Unclear. Have I screwed this up? Poss quite possibly. Run out of rooms to check here, but we'll see. And some gore and some carnage. Alrighty, coming around the corner. Nothing, we've already been there. It's the end of the level, right at the beginning of the level. Of course it was, but we had fun smacking all of, oh, we got a mole man. Come on, mole man. Afraid of you. Yeah, yeah. Get thwacked! Oh. Oh god. Oh god, what was that? I don't know what it was, but 
I, I clickety clacked him with my sack. We got like a hockey glove here. God, I want that that axe. We got a key. Okay, I'm too full up. Let's get rid of that. That doesn't seem green. That doesn't seem green. That doesn't seem green. Old Warhammer, you have failed me. 10 to 17. Pure, utter garbage. Get out of here. Soldier's Cleaver. That sounds pretty amazing. 13 to 26. Yeah. Medium speed. Yep. Yep. Aren't you glad we got that intelligence now? Yeah. Warren Battle Maze, you have served me well. Ooh, I saw an okay necklace in there. All right. Melee knockback plus one versus HP plus 1.5. Yeah, let's take that. 1.5 does nothing for me. Oh, but we have strength plus one. Strength do increases melee damage and max HP. Yeah, that's that's worth it. All right. 324, 97, 9.7 to 11. All right. Strength definitely seems worth it. All right, hockey gloves. Inert fingers gloves. Two. Armor. I guess now we're at cosmetics. I've never been much of a boxer, so we're going to go with uh, hockey gloves. Can we get a better view? Nope. Okay. Got invulnerability potion, the panic button potion, as I like to call it. Silver key. Fine. Inventory is full. Probably can't pick those up. Let's be real. Chest armor is probably better. Sell. Got to think of that resale value. Okay, moving on then, I guess. Anything else in here? Oh, yes. What do we got? Fast, cursed Mando, Mandao, Nandao of Peril. All right, well, we can give that a try. Why not? Let's go ahead, drop that, that, bring that up. We'll give it a try here in a bit. Baby's first Katsame. Silver key has been used. That looks like a way out. Oh, so this is like the end level. Okay. Level, farmer's necklace. Pshh. Untarnished slippers. I mean, doesn't want those. What do we got here? Dole cleaver looks garbage. Very something ordinary reap reaper longsword yeah it looks kind of like hot trash melee knockback on those get out of here and yeah, let's go ahead already not liking picking up stuff in this game it seems a little bit more arduous than it needs to be that seems pretty good armor five we'll lose one and yeah, yeah it's actually probably not even an upgrade all right what do we got here though let's take those swings all right, let's pop up and take a look. Ava had 12 wives, you among them. At night, each one would fall asleep with the queen's name on her lips. Bison Bites, however, was the only name that, when uttered, would make Ava herself skip a heartbeat. The other wives knew of the queen's love for you and respected your status as the high wife. Yeah, that's right. High wife, right here. Favorite. That's how it is. All right, though. Thank you, everybody, for joining me on the very first episode of the Bison Bites TV channel, YouTube TV channel thing. Please feel free to like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. All right. Well, we'll pick up here next time in episode two. Thank you very much.